This is the belly of Gloucester Old Spot pork that has been cooked, that is reconstructed without all the sinew, the bone, the skin, etc., etc. And we layer it up with, with black pudding. To give it that extra crisp, the belly and black pud is rolled in breadcrumbs and then deep fried. These are uh, our locally produced chorizo sausages from Monmouth. They are superb. To tie the dish together, Stephen uses a bit more Welsh chorizo with his beans and sautés his chanterelle mushrooms with broad beans and spinach. Then it's the moment of truth for the pork loin. Is it perfectly cooked? I think it might be a little bit over, to be honest with you. I can't tell. I can cut it in half. I mean, I'll cut it in half and have a look. I knew it was all right anyway. Time to plate up. First the beans, mushrooms and spinach, then the black pud and pork belly topped with apple puree, beans and chorizo, and finally the loin, followed by chorizo gravy. Still see some of the plate. Chocks away. Joining Matthew for this hearty main course is food critic Kath Rhodes of Welsh Country Magazine. Cool, crikey, look at that. That is, you might say, a celebration of pork. I would totally agree with that. And this is the, um, the belly, and it's just been interleaved with little, tiny little layers of black pudding. It looks so appealing and just makes you want to taste it. To me, it's a very traditional-looking dish in the sense you get the meat, the veg and all of that all together on the plate. Mm. But in the hands of a really skilled chef, by altering, in a sense, the emphasis of various of the parts, you suddenly get a completely different direction, a completely different emphasis, and I think a really very modern style of cooking. Mm. Stephen's cooked that main course many times, but his dessert of figs and panna cotta is a bit of an experiment. Instead of cream, he's used Greek yoghurt, and he's not 100% sure that it's set correctly. I'm glad it doesn't just happen to me. No. See, that's supposed to come away. And to pile on even more pressure, he's using some new, untested moulds. Maybe it helps if I take that off the end. Ah, oh, we're talking. And then we've got figs. That's pure heather honey. It's just bulging with just goodness. It's a very cleansing, refreshing dessert. After that heavy main course, a cleansing dessert could be just what Matthew's after. Mm. It's a very simple pudding, isn't it? I mean, it's a pudding of its ingredients. You know, you've got the, the, you know, the warm fig and the cool of the panna cotta, and somehow they just sort of complement each other in the most wonderful way.